Hi, I'm Anfa. In this video, I want to introduce you to Ardor 5, an open source digital audio workstation. Let's begin. Ardor is a fully featured open source digital audio workstation. It runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows. It'll let you record, edit, process, mix, and export audio and MIDI data. It has everything you'll need to record songs, compose film scores, produce electronic music, audiobooks and podcasts, or design sound effects. Ardor is open source, so anyone can download the source code and build it. You can also download ready-to-run binary packages, but they are not free of charge to help fund Ardor's continued development. You can download a demo version for free, or you can subscribe for $1 per month and get unlimited access to full versions of all official builds. It's worth mentioning that many Linux distributions provide their own builds of Ardor free of charge. These are, however, not supported or encouraged by Ardor developers. Ardor allows you to create unlimited amounts of audio and MIDI tracks and buses. You can capture on as many as you want simultaneously. The only limitation here is your hardware. You can add unlimited amount of effects to each track. You can automate the track's volume, trim gain, panning, muting, as well as all parameters of used effect plugins. You can create audio and MIDI buses, for example, a reverb or delay send bus, where you can easily send varying amounts of signal from your tracks to have CPU-efficient uniform effects quickly added to your mix. You can load a video file to use as a guide. Ardor will display a video timeline as well as a timecode synced video playback in a separate window. This is great for working with music or sounds for movies. Once you're done, you can merge your new audio from Ardor with the original video to quickly send it off right from Ardor. You can create tempo and meter maps to make your timing as complex as you want without making it unmanageable. You can set ranges of your session to export one or multiple audio files at once. This is very useful when mastering albums or working with sound effects. One click and all your songs or sound clips are exported to separate, appropriately named files. Ardor can sync to LTC timecode signal from an external device or application, or it can generate such a timecode for you. It can also work as a client or master for jack transport synchronization very useful for working with other sequencers under Linux. For example, you can work on an animation in Blender and edit sound for it in Ardor, having both programs work in perfect sync. Ardor supports numerous hardware controllers out of the box. Just select your unit from a list and you're ready to control your transport and mixer from an external device. Ardor supports open sound control, so any tool that uses OSC will be able to control Ardor both locally and over the network. You can easily store and restore multiple versions of your projects using snapshot functionality. It's great when you're trying out different versions of a mix and you want to be able to come back and compare them afterwards. Similarly, you can create multiple playlists for each track to quickly swap out takes or alternate edits and try how they work in your composition. Ardor have pioneered anything to anywhere routing in the DAW world. You can plug, send, insert, and sidechain all you want. You can create complex bus processing and advanced signal routing configurations between plugins within a single track or bus. The possibilities are truly endless. Ardor allows you to group your tracks for easier editing and mixing, easily create submix buses, and control your mix with VCA groups. Ardor comes with a bundle of curated effect plugins for your basic mixing needs. It's also scriptable with Lua, so we can extend Ardor's functions to automate mundane tasks. Ardor supports VST, LV2, AU, and LATSPA plugin formats. As long as the plugins report their latency, Ardor will compensate for it. If they don't, you can always dial it in manually. You can also use the latency compensation creatively to make a certain track lead ahead of the rest. Ardor comes with different built-in tools for measuring sound levels. You can normalize audio regions to peak or RMS values. You can configure the track and master level indicators to suit your needs. 
After exporting, you'll get a detailed report for each created file with integrated LUFS and true peak levels, as well as a loudness histogram and a spectrogram readout. You can normalize your tracks during export to desired peak or LUFS values. You can also specify custom commands to be executed after the export for specialized encoding or file transfer. You can plot frequency response of your selected regions or ranges. Ardor has an efficient, non-destructive editing workflow. You can also easily add fades and crossfades between overlapping regions. You can bounce your synth parts to resample them as audio and mess up the sound. If you're using outboard gear, you can make Ardor export your session in real time, so your vintage compressor or guitar pedals will sync with this session properly. All of this is just a quick overview of what Ardor offers. If you'll follow this video series, I'll teach you in detail about all that and more. I hope this video was worth your time. If you want more, subscribe. You can go to ardor.org and download Ardor right now. I also invite you to check out my own YouTube channel, where I cover other open source music production related topics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.